this is the final result from the pattern i made the first thing you have to make sure while picking a picture is you have to pick something that is clear very clear clear enough that you'll be able to to see the features of the faces clearly that's not going to give you any issue the features has to be very clear clear enough so, so you have to use a sharp picture you can see our eyes the nose the teeth the lip so now we are going to make our pattern from this picture the, the size of this is 12 by 14 inches the size of this picture is 12 by 14 inches you can do something bigger then or you can do the size it depends on whatever it is that you want so right now what we are going to do is to trace out the sketch from this picture so what we'll be needing to do that is a transfer paper this is a transfer paper you can see through it can you see you can see you can see through it you can see the picture through it can you see so i'll use my pen to make it firm so it doesn't move away from the point after doing that i'll get a pencil i need to get something very sharp enough That'll be sharp enough for you to see. So you just follow the face. We'll be tracing out the I'm trying to highlight the darker part from the lighter area of the hand. This is what we have. You have to check it over and over to be sure that you've traced them out so now this is what we have after tracing this is what you have you can see so this is the pattern we'll be working with also i like to advise if you're finding it difficult to trace out maybe you can see some of the features rightly if you have a light box or a light board if i'm having such difficulty this is what i use just a white bowl having a white bowl having a bowl in it once you place it like this you're going to have a clearer view of the picture it gives you a clearer view of the picture can you see so you'll be able to trace out more effectively you can have it if you're having issues
tracing so now let's continue so this is what we'll be using for a pattern so now the next thing we'll do is to is to trace out the excess part that will not be needed trace out the excess part so now we'll trace out to get what yeah so now you can see what we have so after this the next thing is to get a background a background that we hold all the appliques together the background that will hold the appliques together for, for me i prefer using a fusible we call it gum stay so this is a gum stay it's a one side fusible so this is where the gum is i usually have my sketch on where the gum is so what I do I place it on the fusible you can use um, a plain light fabric or anything that will be comfortable for you just something to hold them together when you are placing the appliques after cutting out something to hold them together so now have to trace the shape so you'll be able to have a perfect finishing and now we have the shape so we are going to cut out the same way we did the other one. Don't forget this is the background that holds everything together. So cutting out the shape will help us know the exact place to put our cutouts. 